Warning! The following program contains scenes that may not be appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, I'm here with Cannon and Collins. You guys are both part of the Cannon Cartel, and you're also part of the Elite Eight Tournament. What happens if you guys have to face each other? What happens if we have to face each other? That's been my plan all along. I saw to it that both myself and Bobby Collins were on opposite ends of the brackets so that in the finals, we could have the dream matchup that everybody has been waiting for. Kevin Cannon versus Bobby Collins. It's gonna be a classic, I assure you. But in the meantime, I've got Jess Youngblood to dispose of, Bobby Collins has Cam Kazi to dispose of, and we have 14 other guys besides them to get rid of, so right now we gotta go get ready for that. Don't worry, when it's me and him, it's all about the money. Don't forget it. Have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler? What about working behind the scenes in professional wrestling? Well, now's your chance. The CWE Elite Wrestling Academy is now accepting students. Learn from the best the Canadian Wrestling's Elite has to offer by signing up today. Our trainers have traveled the world from Canada and the U.S. all the way to Mexico and Japan, been featured on TV and pay-per-view all across the world. All you have to do is send an email to info at cwecanada.ca to get the ball rolling. Make your dreams come true and contact Canadian Wrestling's Elite today. Welcome everyone to CWE Wrestling Dave Petro ringside and we're kicking things off with our first match in the Elite 8 tournament and you see him on your television screen the Mohican Sun Big Jess Youngblood uh, oh man the fans going bananas for him and he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with my broadcast partner Kevin Cannon the Mohican son, Big Jess Youngblood, hailing out of Edmonton, Alberta. The fans absolutely love this guy, and he will get things rolling in the Elite Eight tournament. Coming up tonight, our main event will feature another Elite Eight matchup. Big Kevy Chevy will go one on one with the gift, Jason Kincaid. 
The mastermind. Our ring announcer has just called him Kevin Cannon. Accompanied to the ring by the latest acquisition into the stable of grapplers that Kevin Cannon possesses. We're talking about the rebel Bobby Collins. The turncoat Bobby Collins, that is. Several weeks back you saw him. Oh, Kevin Cannon attacking Big Jess from behind with a series of tremendous forearms. And a big head into the turnbuckle. No! Oh, he just rattled Kevin Cannon his own. I'm talking about Big Jess. Follows it up with a chop. And the fans are demanding one more. Ooh! Oh, I, that hurt me. Well, not quite. Kevin Cannon gets what he deserves. Hard into the turnbuckles. Here comes Big Jess. Just pancakes him and comes off the ropes. Oh, and meets him with a big foot to the face. And Kevin Cannon is absolutely really one, two, and oh! I thought this could have been one of the shortest matches in Kevin Cannon's career. Big Jess Youngblood kicking things off right now on CWE Wrestling. Coming up a bit later on, our CWE champion, Heavy Metal. We saw him in action last week against Hotshot Danny Duggan. He makes another big title defense. That's coming up on today's program. Kevin Cannon, with a distraction help from Bobby Collins, has now turned the tides on Big Jess Youngblood. And now he is choking Big Jess in the turnbuckle. The referee is at the count going. He's got a count of five to break it up. He breaks at the count of four. And now he is distracting the referee. And you see Bobby Collins now choking the air out of the lungs of Big Jess Youngblood and gives him a chop to the face for good measure. One, oh, just a one count, Big Jess Youngblood. He wants none of this. He is absolutely annoyed. He's biting him. Kevin Cannon is biting him. Disgusting tactics by my broadcast colleague, Kevin Cannon. I don't have a word to say about that when he gets back to the broadcast position. Reverse into the ro Oh, boy. Big Jess has had enough. What a clothesline. He follows it up with a tomahawk chop. Double close arm. Ducks. He picks him up. Boom! Kevin Cannon absolutely flattened. Bobby Collins. He gets a fist for good measure for being on the ring apron. And Big Jess coming up. Oh my! Big splash! Oh, and Big Jess. He got a bit of that himself. One, two, three. Oh! Kevin Cannon had the sum of the mind, sum of the mind to grab that bottom rope, breaking up the three count. That looked like a sure pin attempt. Oh, Big Jess Youngblood now signaling this could be it. Oh, Kevin Cannon now reversing. A couple of big kicks to the face. It comes up. No, look at Big Jess. He got him and he plants him. Oh boy. One, two, three. That's it. That is it. Big Jess Youngblood getting the victory tonight in the opening match of the Elite Eight Qualifying Tournament. Your winner, the Mohican Sun, Big Jess Youngblood. As you see, there is the tournament brackets on your screen. Big Jess Youngblood now, as a result of the victory over Kevin Cannon, he will face the winner of the match between Brian Rich and Mr. Incredible. More CWE Wrestling when we return. I go to Muscles by Myers because I trust them. The staff is phenomenal. You come in, they're always positive, they're always happy to see you. I walked in there not knowing a thing about supplements and the staff there showed me everything I need to know. I lost about 40 pounds and then put on about 10 pounds of muscle. I've gotten stronger, I have more energy. I go to Muscles My Myers because they offer great advice, competitive pricing, and they care about helping you achieve your goals. If I can do it, you can do it. June the 27th at the Holy Cross Gym in Winnipeg, CWE presents Twist of Fate featuring WWE Hall of Famer Lita. For event details including information on the special autograph signing taking place before the event, go to the CWE Facebook page or visit us at cwecanada.ca.
from the historic 101 Ranch from Ponca City, Oklahoma. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling Day Petro Ringside. I'll be rejoined by Kevin Cannon in mere moments. And this is our first look at Anthony Wayne. And I'm un under the understanding that this man is quite an accomplished grappler. And a lot of guys in the back call him old school. When we come back, AJ Sanchez, Anthony Wayne, right here on CWE Wrestling. Don't go anywhere. June the 27th, CWE returns to the Holy Cross Gym for a twist of bait featuring Lita. June 28th at 2 p.m., CWE has a free event at Cloudy Days in Tyndall Park. July 12th, also at 2 p.m., CWE presents Rumble at the Rock at the Rock Garden in Richer, Manitoba. July 17th through 20th at the Morris Stampede and Exhibition, CWE will have the Mighty Midgets on hand. Then July 22nd through the 27th, CWE presents the Little People Big World Tour with stops in Burden, Souris, Morden, Winnipeg, Selkirk, and Beausager. For information on all these events, check the website at cwecanada.ca. And I am just about to be rejoined by Kevin Cannon. Kevin Cannon, of course, went down to defeat at the hands of the Mohican Sun Big Jess Youngblood in our opening contest. And we are moving along right here on CW Wrestling in the ring. AJ Sanchez, the man revealed to be one of the henchmen in cahoots with Heavy Metal as Heavy Metal has moved on to capture the CWE Championship. And of course, we saw this several weeks back. Heavy Metal taking the mask off, the bigger of the two henchmen, and that was AJ Sanchez. AJ Sanchez set the square off against the man from Tennessee, Anthony Wayne. That's my first opportunity to see Mr. Wayne in action. Sanchez versus Wayne, the referee waiting, and he says he's checking if Sanchez is ready. Kevin Cannon is now back in the broadcast position. Kevin Cannon, you got your bell rung a little bit by the Mohican Sun Big Jess Youngblood in our opening contest. Oh, what a match. You know what? I've decided to save my energy, to conserve my energy. Let Jess Youngblood walk away with the, with the win here today because guess what's happening next week, Dave Petro? What happens next week, Kevin Cannon? Myself yes. Bobby Collins uh -huh. are going to get a tag team title shot against the Saints of Los Angeles. I, I don't need this Elite Eight tournament. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bobby Collins will probably go on to win the Elite Eight tournament anyway. I, I wouldn't want to have to face him in the finals to begin with. I hate to interrupt, I hate, hate to interrupt you, Kevin Cannon. What do you know about Anthony Wayne? He's taking it too. Well, he was taking it too. AJ Sanchez. Anthony Wayne is about as old school as they get. Impressive Anthony Wayne is the moniker he likes to go by here. And, and, and you don't get much more old school than him. His style, his look, even the way he talks. Everything about him is just very, very 
old fashioned southern wrestling old school. I, I don't know if I like it, I don't. I, I'm not too sure what to make of the guy. We'll have to kind of watch and see here. Anthony Wayne now on the receiving end is some punishment from a man who has turned his back on the CWE, turned his back on the fans, and only time will tell if he's firmly aligning himself with heavy metal. I just don't know if maybe he was just a paid vigilante helping heavy metal capture the CWE championship. We'll see heavy metal in action a little bit later on in tonight's broadcast. He's going to make another title defense. I don't know his opponent, and I've been told in the dressing room area that he's going to be a fighting champion and he's going to defend the championship against all comers. Yeah, he. All I know about his opponent this week is that it's somebody that every champion, past and present, the CWE has ducked, he says. It's somebody who's never got a tell shot because every champion has been too scared to face him. I'm real interested to see who that is. So he sounds like he's going to be giving some somebody in the CWE an opportunity that has, hasn't had that opportunity in a long time. Ever. Ever. Yeah, by, by my knowledge. Anyway, that's, who knows, maybe he's throwing us for a curveball here. Maybe he's saying that and it's going to be Danny Duggan again. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who his opponent is going to be here this week. It's, it's going to be real interesting to see. Uh, I hope it's going to be someone formidable. We've seen, uh, we've seen guys before challenge for the championship or challenge guys like the masterpiece Chris Masters that uh, seem to be a bit less of an opponent. And I'm not going to be making fun of the super friends, but I'm just hoping it's someone of uh, a little bit bigger stature than, say, Corey Kincaid. Maybe it will be Chris Masters speaking of Maybe. Could, could very well be. We saw him here last week. Matt Bailey pulled one over on him. Oh. Maybe Chris Masters is going to do him a solid and uh, and give him a total shot. Anthony Wayne getting a little bit of offense on AJ Sanchez, and Sanchez just with a big knee right to the midsection. And look at the Whoa. strength of AJ Sanchez. Anthony Wayne's going for an airplane. Oh, Fine. my. He is seven feet in the air and brought down hard and to the canvas. One inch off the mat. He is, and this could be it. One, two, and oh! Oh, he kicked out. That was a big press slam. A lot of fight in the smaller of the two wrestlers on the screen. Anthony Wayne, so far, been pretty impressive in his debut here. And to my knowledge of CWE, it's the first time I've had an opportunity to see him. Kevin Cannon, you seem to be familiar with him. Yeah, I guess he earns that nickname, Impressive Anthony Wayne. Impressive Anthony Wayne. Oh, and AJ Sanchez with an impressive elbow to the side of the head of his own. What I'm impressed oh. with, too, is, is Heavy Metals keeping his distance. He's back almost by the entranceway there, just watching on. And, and uh, almost like he's, he's grading AJ Sanchez. He's kind of ranking him. Oh, Whoa, that, that was, was impressive. Yeah, Anthony Wayne really now go up to the top. Did he fly? He is going to the top. He is at the top turnbuckle, AJ Sanchez. Oh, what a oh, show, shoulder! My. Right to the side of the head of AJ Sanchez. Sent him real. One, two, oh. oh! AJ Sanchez able to kick out of the count of two. Unbelievable action right here in the CWE. Anthony Wayne, I don't think he needs to be shown that kind of a frustration. He needs to stay on top of his opponent. Oh, and AJ Sanchez firing him into the second turnbuckle. Who knows what he had in the pocket of that jacket that Heavy Wayne collided with, too, hanging from the buckle. You never know. Oh, a low kick. Oh, oh what my. a DDT. Oh, my. As if Anthony Wayne's not short enough, I think he just compacted his spine another inch or two. And look at AJ Sanchez now. He has got, he has got him in a set. Oh, he is. AJ Sanchez has made Anthony Wayne, Wayne tap out. You're, he's not going to let go, Kevin Cannon. No, I think he's passed out from the pain. Wow. This is a vicious, vicious AJ Sanchez we're seeing here now. Absolutely correct. Your winner, AJ Sanchez. Still to come, championship title defense from Heavy Metal at our main event. Kevin Chevy going one-on-one -on -one with the gift. Jason Kincaid, don't go anywhere. We're headed into the Elite Eight match tonight, and I've got Kevy Chevy here with me. What are your thoughts going into tonight's match? Well, let me tell you something, Vicky. Tonight, I take on one of America's best in Jason Kincaid. Let me tell you, I've seen this guy. He can do all the flippy dippy stuff. But you know what? I can too. And I'm three times your size, Jason. So what are you going to do when the Chevy comes running over you?
the 27th, CWE returns to the Holy Cross Gym for Twist of Fate featuring Lita. June 28th at 2 p.m., CWE has a free event at Cloudy Days in Tyndall Park. July 12th, also at 2 p.m., CWE presents Rumble at the Rock at the Rock Garden in Richer, Manitoba. July 17th through 20th at the Morris Stampede and Exhibition, CWE will have the Mighty Midgets on hand. Then July 22nd through the 27th, CWE presents the Little People Big World Tour with stops in Burden, Souris, Morden, Winnipeg, Selkirk, and Bozager. For information on all these events, check the website at cwecanada.ca. Give your body the edge in one click with MusclesByMyers.com. We have sports supplements, vitamins and minerals for all lifestyles and levels of fitness. And call or email for free one-on-one -on -one guidance. Smart buyers shop at Myers and MusclesByMyers.com. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling. Dave Petro ringside joined by Kevin Cannon. And Kevin right here on our match lineup. It tells me right now we are in store for our CWE Championship title defense. Heavy battle set to defend his title. And I didn't get the name of the opponent beforehand. And this Could this be his opponent, Kevin Cannon? <laughs> I sure hope so, because this is going to be a good laugh watching Eddie Mel dismantle this clown. Oh my god. If you remember a couple months ago, we saw him come out here for a Master Rock oh. Challenge. And Chris Masters made short work of him. It was like tossing around a kettlebell at the gym. <laughs> we have been led to believe that Heavy Metal would defend this title about a, against a person who has that many, many champions have ducked, has not had a championship opportunity in the territory, and we see that in the ring. <laughs> well, Heavy Metal, you gotta give the guy credit. This is his third week in the row, in a row in the ring fighting, second title defense. He hasn't taken a week off since winning the championship. You gotta, you gotta still give the guy credit, despite the fact that it's Sidney Madsen out there, a, a man who has little to no wherewithal when it comes to wrestling. In fact, it's debatable whether or not he even knows a wrestling hold. But nevertheless, what was it, Buddy Weiser available or something? Why is he going one on one with Sidney Manson? I'm, a, I'm not too sure who, who was available, Good who was great. on the list. <laughs> he never came to me for any recommendations or, or consult or anything like that, so I, I can't say one way or another how th this came to be his opponent, but Good I'm great. definitely excited to see the aftermath here. Your CWE Heavyweight Champion, Heavy Metal, in a championship title defense. He's going one-on-one. -on -one. Would I say the pride of Gordon, Manitoba? Uh, no, that's, that's, that's up for debate. Even can't set their bar that low. Sidney Manson. I must say, Sidney Manson did get a nice round of applause when he went one-on-one -on -one <laughs> with Mike he's Mission at the Morton Block Party several he's weeks back. Coming out but this is another duck. This is another Ooh, match. He is going one-on-one -on -one with the best the CWE has. But not not, not to else. put down Mike Mission in any way, Kevin Cannon. No. But this is the champion. But before we get going, this match is brought to you by Lower Level Sports Cars down on Henderson. Dave, they got all kinds of cool stuff. Swing by, check them out. With sports collectibles, cards, you name it. It's Henderson Highway, low level sports cards. It is going to be something else. Heavy Metal 101, Sydney Manson. And now Heavy Metal going to work. This could be the easiest night of Heavy Metal's life. Now, I, I don't know. I've seen stranger things happen. I've seen the sodbuster Kenny J defeat Bobby the Brain Heenan going back to the 70s and the old AWA days. I've seen all kinds of little upsets. Who can, for, who can forget the 123 Kid defeating Razor Ramon on WWE Raw one night? Yeah, back in 93. Absolutely, but I don't know. At least Kenny J and the 123 Kid, you could say they had some semblance of talent. Very true, but. 
Sydney Mans, I got a few facts here on Sydney Manson. You have some facts, do you, Kevin Cannon? I got a little run sheet on him. Well, for first starter, Sydney Manson can be seen traveling around town on the short bus. Yeah. When he's not driving his... And he wears a helmet on the short bus, I understand. That, that's when he's not driving his white van. Yeah. Uh, oh. With candy in the back. Okay. <laughs> we'll just leave no, that No, you're making that one up. <laughs> Sydney Manson has been preaching to the rest of the locker room the benefits of abstinence at 37 years old. What well, would you? Well, I, I don't know if that's... How would they find somebody to do uh, that? Yeah, I don't think that's by There's his own There's not anybody choice. in the crowd! No, I, I don't believe so. Besides farm animals, I don't think that's, that's by his, his own choice. That's either here or there. And, and, and also, Sidney Manson has been dubbed, jokingly, by some of his peers as Baron Von Manbush. But there's, there's photographers <laughs> out! Oh, oh my! What is it, the international press? Is taking pictures of this? I guess this must be for, uh, they're getting ready for Special Olympics week or something. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's uncalled for. There are some tremendous athletes in the Special Olympics. Uh, they wouldn't want to be put in the same category as Sidney Manson. No, I don't believe they would. But going back to what I was saying, Sidney Manson's peers have dubbed him Baron Von Mambush. Apparently, despite having oh, uh, underwear I, large I, enough oh. to fly up a flagpole, no, 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 he no. still has quite the lion's mane going on. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't subscribe to any New Age male grooming that's magazine. Let's not talk manscaping here, Kevin Cannon. Heavy metal now taking the uh, t-shirt of Sidney Mance, putting over his face. I think that was a bit of an improvement. And now, heavy metal with a big elbow. Whatever he had under that t-shirt looks like something that belonged on the bottom side yeah. of a cow. Oh, <laughs> he got a little offense in there, but he can't get up to the second oh row. Oh my. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, sunset foot one, two. Oh, yeah. He slid down heavy metal's back there. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think we're just... We're watching heavy metal. I think he's going. He's not going in top speed. That's for sure. No, definitely not. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The back suplex there. He barely hoisted him up. One, I think that's two, enough. three. You that's bet. it. A successful title defense. Hard fought for your CWE champion. Heavy metal. He didn't even need AJ Sanchez out here for this. He didn't. There's no mass man. No lights going out. He made short work of Sidney Manson. Still to come, television main event, Kevin Chevy goes one-on-one -on -one in the Elite Elite Eight Tournament against the gift, Jason Kincaid. We'll be right back. June the 27th at the Holy Cross Gym in Winnipeg, CWE presents Twist of Fate featuring WWE Hall of Famer Lita. For event details including information on the special autograph signing taking place before the event, go to the CWE Facebook page or visit us at cwecanada.ca. I'm here with Jason Kincaid. You entered into the Elite Eight. What are your plans going into the match? Greetings, grappling fans! I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you know this with the most heart stopping, jaw dropping, eye popping, high flying, death defying, awe inspiring wrestler in the world today. Jason the Gift Kincaid has entered the Elite Eight tournament. What am I going to do? I'm going to win. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the spit off me now. Let's go to the match. June the 27th, CWE returns to the Holy Cross Gym for a twist of fate featuring Lita. June 28th at 2 p.m., CWE has a free event at Cloudy Days in Tyndall Park. July 12th, also at 2 p.m., CWE presents Rumble at the Rock at the Rock Garden in Richer, Manitoba. July 17th through 20th at the Morris Stampede and Exhibition, CWE will have the Mighty Midgets on hand. Then July 22nd through the 27th, CWE presents the Little People Big World Tour with stops in Burden, Souris, Morden, Winnipeg, Selkirk, and Bozager. For information on all these events, check the website at cwecanada.ca.
Welcome back to CWE Wrestling, coming towards the ring, Kevy Chevy, already in the ring, his opponent, the gift, Jason Kincaid, Kevin Cannon, this is another match in the Elite Eight Tournament. And this is a big, big match, the winner of this match, there's no easy match in the Elite no. Eight Tournament, but the winner of this match has their work cut out for them too, because the winner of this match faces the winner of one, two, three approved television champion Anderson Tyson Moore and Chris Hero. The winner of this match has a big, big matchup after this. This is a, a, a tough path to take to the top if there was one. Television main event brought to you by Motel 6. Of course, if you have got relatives coming in from out of town this summer, be sure and book a room for them at Motel 6 out on in Headingley, just past the perimeter on Portage Avenue. One fall, 30 minute time limit, the gift Jason Kincaid side headlock on the big man, Kevy Chevy. Kevin Cannon, coming up June the 27th, Twist of Fate, Holy Cross Gymnasium, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Lita. She will be the special referee between AJ Sanchez and Hotshot Danny Duggan. That's going to be a tremendous main event. Two founding fathers of CWE. Absolutely, but what I'm going to be referring to right now you are involved in a special five minute challenge match, are you not? This is true. Myself and Dick Blood will be going one on one, and I can't wait to get my hands around his neck. Nearly one year in the making. One year in the making. This is going to be, that's five minutes, and that was a result from several weeks back when Dick Blood didn't get his five minutes because we saw. The Rebel Bobby Collins stick his nose where it didn't belong. And then you had that, that scam, if I would say so, already lined up. You have Bobby Collins now in your stable. But this, you thought you, you outsmarted Dick Blood. But this has been signed, sealed, and it will be delivered June the 27th at Holy Cross Gymnasium. That's okay. Well, Dick Blood's been hanging around junkyards and chugging beer. I've been peeling the skin off my chicken. I've been hitting the gym. I've been training extra hard. Peeling the skin off your chicken? Oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's the worst part for you. You can't eat the skin on the chicken. You just got to eat the white breast meat inside. That's so you're not buying that bucket for $12.99 at KFC? Absolutely not. No, I, I, I'm going to give Dick Run the thrashing of a... Dick Run? Dick Blood the thrashing of a lifetime. Oh, man. It's a pretty... Pretty quick action to get Jason Kincaid slid back into the ring. As we saw Kevy Chevy, he was going to go to the outside, and Kincaid clipped him down. And Kevy Chevy now in a, in, in a world of hurt in the turnbuckles. For information on Twist of Fate, be sure and go to our website, cwecanada.ca. And for, of course, all the information and all the updates, like us on Facebook, CWE Canada. What tremendous action coming your way June the 27th. And we are all over Manitoba the month of July. Got a great event coming up July 1st in Selkirk, Manitoba. Oh, yeah, the Morris Stampede with the CWE is going to be there, too. That is going to be one great event. And we can't, we can't forget July the 24th back in Morden, Manitoba. Oh, yeah, that's part of that. Big World Little People Tour. <laughs> yeah, you bet. The Mighty Midgets will be on the show in Morden, Manitoba. Again, for information on these and all the great events, go to cwecanada.ca. The gift, Jason Kincaid now. He's got a bit of a front face lock on the big man, Kevy Chevy. And this is an Elite Eight tournament matchup. And as you said before, the winner of this match will face either ATM or Chris Hero. Yeah, big ramifications here. And also coming up, June 27th, it's just been announced, Kevy Chevy's gonna be facing another big man, Mr. Incredible. He'll be in the ring with that big black hammer he is. Wow, I cannot wait to see those two bulls lock horns. Oh my word, that is gonna be one tremendous night of wrestling. Holy Cross Gymnasium, June the 27th. Get your tickets in advance. And for information on that, as I said, go to our website and get your ticket. That, that one's guaranteed to sell out with WWE Hall of Famer Lita on the card. Oh yeah, get your tickets and get there early because seats are going to be limited. Absolutely. I'd like to thank some of the great sponsors of the CWE. 123Approved.ca, Muscles by Myers, Dairy Queen, both in Morton, Manitoba, and in Winkler, big supporters of the CWE. And of course, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Cannon. I'm getting a little tongue-tied out here. 
There's a whole list of other sponsors and places that have after parties too. Oh yeah, and those after parties, if you want to meet the wrestlers of the CWE afterwards, pick their brain, chat with them, buy them a drink if that's what they so choose to do, then go to one of these after parties, have a drink, have a meal with them, chat with them, meet them, get your picture taken with them, you name it. They're still talking about the one in Source. Oh yeah, Jason Gagay was standing out doing handstands on the bar. That's what I was alluding to. <laughs> and of course in Winnipeg, after the June 27th car, go to Club St. B in the heart of St. Boniface for a big after party event there. That's going to be tremendous. I'm told that uh, if, if things don't get settled in that matchup, maybe AJ Sanchez and Danny Duggan might settle it with a dance off at the Club St. B afterwards. You know what? I've seen that happen before, and that, that might be worth just getting down to Club St. B and getting down there early right after the big Twist of Fate show. I don't know. I have a feeling they'll be sitting on I've seen Kevin Chevy do that before, coming out of the shower. I have. I have. Oh! oh. Kevin yeah, Chevy rolling out of the way. Move, yeah, I guess that didn't jar him too much. Not too much. Feet. He comes back. Oh, what a big elbow. Jason Kincaid reeling. Kevin Chevy now coming off with a huge clothesline. Oh, another big elbow. Kevin Chevy has Jason Kincaid absolutely reeling. And a big clothesline right outside the ring. And here we go. Oh, no. Here comes the big man. Oh, oh. we've seen this before. That is like a 16-pound bowling ball knocking over five pins. Not ten pins, five pins. <laughs> yeah, he just flattened him. That was amazing. Yeah. To see a man of that size fly like that, you won't see that anywhere else but Canadian Wrestling's Elite. Wow, unbelievable. Now the action spilled off over to on the ringside floor. Chevy Chevy just tossing to get Jason Kincaid back into the ring. And now, oh, Jason Kincaid. He's not looking worse for well, missing the clothesline. Oh, Kevin Chevy just plants him, Kevin Yannon. One, two, oh! Oh my. I thought that was it. She referee was thought that was it. away from advancing in the Elite Eight tournament. The timekeeper, he had the hammer right in his hand. He was ready to ring the bell. He thought that was it too. Hey, Miss, er, Mr. Incredible, sorry. I'm getting, my, I'm getting myself tongue tied here now too. Jason Kincaid has been tearing a swath through the CWE since coming here. The only real setback he had was when he faced Mentolo a couple weeks back. Who, let's face it, there's no shame in, in, in uh, oh. a loss to Mentolo whatsoever. Not at all. But Jason Kincaid has just torn through the opposition otherwise since being in CWE. Oh, Kevin Chevy, he says that's it. He's got him up. Oh, look at Kincaid fighting his way out of there. Kevin Chevy not knowing. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, oh. my. He's on top of him. One, two. Oh, oh did he get him? That was it. Did he get him? Two, two, two count. The referee right on top of the action. My vision was a bit blurred there because where my vantage point is, I didn't see if the referee's hand hit three. The gift, Jason Kincaid. Is he doing a bit of a strip tease? Or he's taking down his stuff to mean he is all business, Kevin Cannon. Oh, he's getting serious, I think, is what's happening. He's ready to push Chevy away. Kevin Chevy now in the corner. He's starting to come to his senses. And here comes... Oh! oh, bails him to the outside. He does. He landed on his feet. Big oh, headbutt oh, oh. by Kincaid. Kevin Chevy now really in the middle of the ring. And he goes up all school. Comes back with a clothesline. Takes over Kevin Chevy. And looks looked like that move did both men a little bit of damage. Now Kincaid not, unable to roll on top of Kevy Chevy to get the pinfall. The referee has the count going, of course. Both men have to the count of 10 to get back to their feet. And it looks like both of them now at the same time are getting back up. The gift Jason Kincaid, a big elbow to the side of the head. Come, firing right back. He oh, is firing oh, right back. Two guys. Duking it out in the middle of the ring. And staggering at that. I don't think either one of them's really here in, in mind. Oh, big oh. elbow by Kincaid. And get, come, Chevy comes back with another one. Oh, that's a big fist. A couple of series of big fists. And an elbow and a big oh, uppercut. Right. Kincaid off the ropes. Oh! oh, what a scoop slam. One, two, this could be it. Oh! oh just narrowly kicked up from that power slam. That was amazing strength on the part of Kevy Chevy. I thought that was it. Kevy Chevy with a huge, huge slam on the gift Jason Kincaid. And now, is he signaling he's going up to the top, Kevin oh, Cannon? Oh, I cannot believe how well this big man can fly. That is in excess of 300 pounds. Whoa! And he misses his target. A miscue by Kevy Chevy. And now the gift Jason Kincaid. Oh, oh my! Goodness. We have seen that before. One, two, three. He yeah, got him. Oh he got him. 
Jason Kincaid will move on in the Elite Eight Tournament. He scores a big victory over Kenny Chevy. Wow. He's been on a tear, and like I said earlier, with the one exception of that loss to Mendelo, he is undefeated here at Canadian Wrestling's Elite. And who knows, we're gonna see the graphic here in a minute come up on your screen. He might have to face Mendelo, maybe, maybe two rounds from now, maybe in the finals, I'm not sure how that's gonna line up. But what we do know, as you can see right here, is Jason Kincaid is now gonna face the winner of Chris Hero and the TV champ, Anderson Tyson Moore. That is gonna be a matchup for the ages. Next week, right here on CWE Wrestling, our main event, Mantelo goes one-on-one -on -one with Ricky Starks. On behalf of Kevin Cannon and Vicky Shea, Dave Petro saying, good night.